Hi, tonguing's quite interesting. We've got to get a little flicky movement of the tongue. And but it's really the breath that's starting the sound. Now, sometimes when we first start to learn, we don't even worry about the tongue. And I, at first, I don't think it's necessary. But afterwards, sometimes it can be a little awkward to get it started. So here's a little exercise to help. Just go with the breath. And then flick the tongue towards the palate and back very quickly. I like to think of the... Uh, Vowel air, 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 de, de. It's much different than singing, isn't it? Now with the buzz. And if we're not careful, the tonguing interrupts the buzz and sort of makes it bounce off its vibration. So we have to get the tongue more subtle, which is easy with the mouthpiece. But if we can get it working with the buzz and the mouthpiece, then we're really on our way to nice, efficient and um, tonguing that we can do all sorts of different articulations with.